My sympathies are with everyone who's been affected by this and also my condolences to those who've lost loved ones now or in the future. This is a really, really difficult time and we all need to pull together and fight this virus and stop the spread of infection. I'm sure everyone's feeling really worried at this time, but we need to make sure that we follow the advice that NHS England are giving out and we need to make sure uh, that we try our best to stop the spread of this infection and to keep uh, our NHS protected so that we can give the necessary support and health care to those most vulnerable in need and in need. So as Ealing Council we're working with uh, all local voluntary community groups with national, regional London government and with business groups to make sure that we respond collectively together. Our key focus however is to make sure that the vulnerable, the elderly um, and those with pre-existing health conditions are given the support that they need and we have robust plans in place to make sure that that care and that support is given uh, over the next weeks and months. Community is our greatest strength and I've been really proud of the way that in the last few days the local community have come together spontaneously to look out to help those who are elderly, those who are vulnerable, those who are self-isolating and we need to make sure that we coordinate those efforts and that we follow uh, the tips that you'll find in my, my full statement and if we will work together uh, it will take uh, a long time but if we all work together with that community spirit uh, we can beat this virus. We'll continue to put out information as this fast-moving situation develops and you can get the latest advice from the council's website through all the links. Uh, make sure that you use trusted links so that you can get the best advice from Public Health England, from the government and from the council.